Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to optimize a Google Ads account in 2024 with real results. And we're gonna show you what I actually did and our team did, how we were able to essentially quadruple the amount of leads within two uh, 60 days, two months, and uh, really see just so much more success doing the you know, basic things you should be doing inside of account. I'm gonna go over the main principles first that we follow, and then I'm gonna go into more minute detail on what to actually be optimizing. Now, first off, big shout out to Thrive for Life, our client for actually letting us use all this data. Again, thank you so much. This is the account we're gonna be looking into and essentially going over everything we changed in the account. So again, thanks guys for letting us use all of this data. Now we're gonna come over here to the actual account. And as you can see, this account during October 1st to October 31st was not doing well. We took over this account, I believe it was November like 4th or 5th don't quote me on that uh, for the actual account and the month before it they got four leads at a cost per conversion of $325 as you can see the amount of clicks is just insane here and honestly they weren't super upset with what they were getting what they sell at Thrive for Life is high-end home renovation equipment for elderly people and essentially what this looks like is home stair lifts home uh, lifts, ramps, they sell a whole bunch of stuff to essentially allow older people to keep their mobility in their house, which is awesome. And they were, you know, okay with what they were getting, you know, four or five leads a month. I thought the account could do a lot better. And so we took over the account in November. So the very first month is normally not the best month. However, even in this account, we were able to substantially increase results. So let's go from November 1st to November 30th. And keep in mind, cost per lead, $325, and they had four leads. Now their cost per conversion went down to $131 and 10 conversions. Still not great, but we were able to more than double the amount of leads and substantially cut the cost per conversion, which was, you know, in their eyes, really, really great. And as you can see, this wasn't even the whole month. We were running uh, only a few days and we were able to get just substantially better results, which was fantastic for them. Looking into month two, this is when the account really started to pick up and we can go from December 1st to December 31st of this account or of 2023. And as you can see, we cut the cost down to $65 all the way from $350 and we got 20 conversions that month at essentially the same cost what they were spending and for us this was a massive success we were super happy with this and so with the client this is just really what you want to see when you're optimizing this account you want to see gradual growth you want to see the account gather that data then you switch into the actual conversion or target CPA and then you see the AI take over and the account just grow that is the best case scenario it doesn't always happen that way but this is essentially the results we were able to get using these methods. Now I'm gonna walk you through the four main things that we look at when we took over this account. Back in October, there was four things we looked at. One were the actual ads, what type of ads they were using, two, the keywords they were targeting, three, the landing pages they were using, and four was the actual conversion tracking. Now, to start off very simply, they were using ads that we don't really like when it comes to service-based businesses. The reason for that is certain ads perform better for different types of companies. If you're running e-commerce and you have 100% data and you know exactly what converts into a lead and what doesn't convert into a lead, that's perfect. You can run essentially a smart campaign. Google's just gonna keep optimizing for that. It's gonna be perfect. The issue then becomes with lead campaigns and lead generation, we don't have all that data. We don't know exactly what customer converted into a sale and what didn't because it's not connected to the CRM. In a perfect world, every account is connected to a CRM, but in the real world, it's not. So we then have to actually figure out what keywords are working well and what keywords are not working well. And the only way to do that is with a handful of campaigns. If you're using display campaigns, YouTube campaigns, very, very difficult to do because you don't have that control. However, with call campaigns and with actual search campaigns, you are able to control those keywords, which makes life a lot easier and you can really adjust the quality. This was where we were actually able to target keywords that were converting at a much higher rate and a much higher quality lead. So the first thing we did, they were running Performance Max. We switched them from Performance Max to search campaign right away. We saw results go up almost immediately in the first month. Then from there, we had the actual ads and the keywords taken care of. So both of those are firing on all cylinders. We're seeing good keywords, we're seeing good ads. We're actually A-B testing ads essentially every day at this point. And then we look at the actual landing pages and we looked at the landing pages before we ever took over. They were just running it to their website. The issue with that is normally you're going to see a drastic decrease in conversion rate. And what I mean by this is for every person that goes to your website, less people will actually contact you. 
The reason for this is websites are often confusing. There's a lot of buttons, people get overwhelmed. I know people are like, well, no, I wouldn't get overwhelmed by a website. If you're in a real problem and you gotta get in contact with someone, you want a phone number or you want a form submission. You don't wanna look through their privacy policy. You don't wanna look at their blog. None of that matters to you. You just wanna get in contact with you. With a landing page, it's a simple one page. We recommend using a landing page software. We love Landingly. I'll leave the link for that down below. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of other ones, Unbounce, Lead Pages. There's so many out there. I highly, highly recommend using some type of landing pages. Your conversion rates will skyrocket compared to a website. Just absolutely amazing. And that's what we did. We went in, we created a whole bunch of landing pages for this account. Very simple. It allows you to contact them via the phone number and allows you to contact them via the actual form submissions. And this, again, as you can see, helps with the actual ads, keywords, and landing pages. All three of these line up and we're able to see amazing account success because all three line up. Plus the quality score was able to go up, plus the expected click-through rate because we're A-B testing these leads, plus the actual keywords align with the landing pages and the actual ads. So Google sees that and they go, well, all those landing, all those things line up. So there's better ad relevance, better landing page experience because it's a landing page dedicated to those keywords. Everything lines up perfectly. And I'll put a little graph on the screen just to explain it a little bit better. As you can see, you have the keywords, you have the landing pages, you have the ads, and if all three of those things line up, chances are your campaign's gonna be going well. Now, the fourth and final thing that we needed to address was the actual conversion tracking. When they were running Performance Max campaigns, the conversion tracking wasn't tracking any phone calls and it was only tracking form submissions on one part of the website, which isn't good because they could have gone to another part of the website, filled out a form submission, and it just didn't track it. So what we did was we just instituted Google's organic tracking. We used the phone number that I have an entire video on how to set up for your landing page and we introduced the actual form submissions and this track literally everything. It's very simple to set up. I have two videos on them. I'll link them up above, but this allowed us to get all that data and essentially recycle it and keep feeding it back into Google ads. So it can keep updating, keep getting better information and keep improving. With these four things taken care of, you can see the actual optimization and the growth of the account just skyrocket essentially over the course of 60 days, which is incredible for this account. And our client was very happy. Now, when it comes to the actual optimization of these things and you want more details and you need all the nitty gritty stuff. We have more of the nitty gritty stuff here and you can get the Google ads optimization checklist down below. It's completely free and it walks you through what to do on a weekly, monthly, three month basis. And it also allows you to jot down your results. But I wanna show you a few of these actual things that you need to be doing. And I'm just gonna come over here to the actual demo account here. One of the things that is super important, especially in search campaigns, is to come into one of your ad groups. You can click on an ad group, hit insights, come into your actual search terms and actually go through here. Right now it's blank because it's just a demo account, but you come in here, you click on keywords or search terms, I should say, that are not relevant to your actual account. For the first few weeks, there's gonna be a ton of them. You're gonna have to come in here, check them off, add them as negative so you never appear again for them. And as you can see, even with our campaign, we were doing this early on, we were only able to get the 10 conversions in the first month, but after that first month, you could see the results kept skyrocketing because we kept adding those negatives, 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 negatives and our ad spend is no longer wasted on irrelevant search terms, which is fantastic because now we can put that ad spend and put it towards other parts of the account that are gonna be able to generate better results. Another part of this that is super important to look at is the actual ads and coming in here and again, coming into ads and A-B testing these. Ads are super important because they're one aspect of that three-part series, which is the ads, the keywords, and the landing pages. If you get all three lined up well and they're all running well, chances are you're gonna have an amazing campaign. With our ads for the Thrive for Life campaign, we're A-B testing them constantly. We only use one or two ads in each and every ad group. That way we can test them even faster. But for most people, you're gonna have wanna have three ads in each and every ad group. This makes it a lot easier. And most people aren't gonna take the time to be in the account every single day, unlike us. So what I would recommend doing is coming in here, adding every single headline, maxing out 15 out of 15 headlines, four to four descriptions. And then once you see an ad no longer performing well, normally it's gonna have like 10 impressions over the course of a month. It'll have like one click or zero clicks. At that point, you can come in here turn this off, hit pause, and then double out the winning ad. I like doubling out the winning one because chances are if you make a slight improvement to it, it's a lot easier to go from winning to slightly more winning as opposed to loser to winning. It's a big gap in between there. So double out the winning ad, make a few changes and see if you can improve it. What this does is it improves expected click-through rate and it really helps with overall account success because you, that is one element of quality score and quality score is gonna dictate how much a cost per click is for every single keyword. The higher we can get our quality score, we're trying to aim for a 10 out of 10. Uh, the lower cost per click is gonna be, the more leads we're gonna be able to get and the more account success we're gonna have. And this is one of the big things we gotta do. That, making sure our keywords line up, making sure we're coming in here, making sure the keywords are all relevant, 
if we see a keyword is just having you know just a very rough time we have enough data to back it up normally we're looking 50 60 70 clicks and we just see you know the cost per lead is way too high we can come in here turn off this one keyword and then go from there and just spend our money elsewhere normally with google's ai it will automatically do that after the first couple months just because google's ai is really good at figuring out what to spend money on but at least in the first week or two if there is a keyword that is just spending all your money and there's no results maybe it is a good idea to turn it off that being said what we also need to do is make sure our landing pages are set up correctly like i said making sure you have a good landing page software i love landingly it's a great little software it's cheap it's affordable and this is how it's typed in it's a little bit of a weird name but i absolutely love this program i recommend it to everyone it's very cheap you can try it for free uh, the light plans $29 a month. Anyone can afford that, especially if you're going to be able to quadruple your leads, which in more often than not times we see, which is uh, absolutely amazing. Now, I do want to say if you have any comments, questions or concerns regarding optimization, maybe the checklist isn't enough for you. Let me know down below if you have any comments, questions or concerns. Leave a comment down below. I will do my best to get back to you Other than that. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care. I wish you all well and I wish you the most success in Google Ads. It is a tough game to play, but if you're able to optimize and really get all those things lined up inside your account, you will have success in 99.9% .9 of the cases. Sometimes the market is just crazy competitive and you can't really do anything other than do your best. But more often than not, you're going to see amazing success if you follow the optimization guide and you go after those basic principles. You should be ahead of 99% of people. On that, you guys have a great day. Take care. I wish you all well.